and welcome to another California Guy video with your boy California Guy. What's up everybody and welcome to this video. Now this video is entitled Black YouTube versus uh, Black Christians. Now I've been looking at some Black YouTuber videos. Uh, first of all I'm going to give a shout out to some people. Shout out to Vic Damone for defending Black Christianity. I don't really get along with a lot of stuff or agree with a lot of stuff that Vic Damone does or who he associates with. But if he has a good point, I give him props. So shout out to him for defending Christianity and black Christians on his radio show. I enjoy some segments that he does. Uh, another person to shout out to is uh, Black Jesus Minister, by the way. He's friends with me on Facebook. And he posts up a lot of good things on uh, black Christians and ancient texts. And he, he proved a lot of points. Uh, now I'm going to move on to try to defend black Christianity. Now... I've been looking at some black YouTube videos and I've been looking at a lot of black YouTubers post up memes from shows, segments that they've taken about slavery and the Bible. Now I was looking at a particular black YouTuber's video. I'm not going to shout the person's name because I don't want him thinking I'm trying to get shine off of his name. but. He, in the video, he posted up a, a video of Glenn Beck interviewing a guy. I forgot his name, but the guy he was interviewing about the slaves in the Bible is a known racist. The guy's a known racist. Uh, the guy has wrote, rewrote U.S. history books to fit black people in slavery, not just with the Bible, but in other uh, writings that he's done. I've read some of the books that, I forgot the name of the guy, but... The guy has literally written tons of books trying to rewrite U.S. history, even when it comes to white stuff, white history. So the guy was on Glenn Beck, and I've watched the show that, that was posted on as the mail. I've actually looked at that particular segment. It was on black history, and it was a conservative hit piece trying to pr uh, promote black uh, white supremacy and trying to say that blacks love being slaves. But... The black YouTuber took it out of context and posted it on his channel to try to push his own agenda that being a black Christian means that you're being controlled by white supremacy. And that's not true because I'm a black Christian. Now, black Christians are way more conservative than most other Christian denominations in the United States, like myself. Because me being a black Christian, uh, I have faith. That's number one. I have faith. Of, I've been believing in of God since I was a little bitty kid, since I was a baby. And I grew up in church. So a lot of stuff I don't advocate. I, I advocate. I'm pro-family. That's number one. I'm pro-family. Uh, I'm against gay marriage. I'm against gay people, period, by the way. Um, I'm for uh, man and woman being married and having as many kids as they want. Um I'm against prostitution, and I'm against other immoral things. I'm against immoral people. I call people out when they're immoral. I'm not for bullshit. I, I, I'm against atheists. That's one of my prime targets is atheists. I, I'm against uh, practicing that because I think most atheists will be going to hell. Uh, I really, I respect other religions, but I don't believe in false idols. But that's just me. But when I see black uh, atheists, and black YouTube attack the Bible time and time again. And they've told me many times that black people are brainwashed. But see, you guys don't understand. You're brainwashed also by atheists. So how do you know? You guys have never proved that the Bible is true or not. Only thing you can say is that slaves, our ancestors, was forced with the Bible. Now let me give you guys some history lessons. Were slaves forced to read the Bible? Yes, they were forced to read the white man's version of the Bible. That's what ended up happening. They read what, what the Southerners was doing was rewriting the Bible to fit their agenda at that time, just like they had their own version of the Constitution when the Civil War broke out. So a lot of black people don't understand about this brainwashing thing. And as time went on, black people formed their own churches. They read the Bible and they understood it. And they started using the Bible to have laws overturned. For example, Having human beings as slaves was against God's rule. And black people pointed it out. Slaves pointed out that that was against God's rule of having black people as slaves. Second, 
uh, I didn't see atheists freeing uh, black people from Jim Crow. It was Martin Luther King, Dr. Martin Luther King. He was a, a minister, a mega Evers minister, uh, Al Sharpton minister, Reverend J.C. Jackson minister. So, yeah, most ministers that got shit done was I don't see you motherfuckers, you atheists, getting anything done at all. All you motherfuckers do is tell black people that it's wrong to be Christians. And I've been trashed by black atheists. They've called me weak and they said other things because I choose to believe in God. And I think if you don't believe in God, you go straight to hell. That's just a fact. So, you know, you're going to need God if you have a, de a deliberate, I'm sorry, I lost my words. If you have an illness, say you have an illness, but then are you going to talk to nothing or are you going to talk to God? If your child has an illness, who are you going to ask for forgiveness from God? So I just think that black people should be careful following this white path of not believing in a Bible. Because there is a God, and I have proof that there is God. So there is a God, there was a Jesus, and that's just all I'm going to say on the matter. And I would debate anybody to try to prove to me, or I would challenge anybody to prove to me that there isn't a God. So don't tell me, well, uh, where was God at? When it was come to slaves, because black people was free. Don't say what was God at God at when it was lynchings, because lynchings stopped. Don't ask me what God was at, because the whole world is in shambles. So everything is done with a purpose. The black people that was lynched back in the day, it helped us to have freedom. The black people that were slaves, it helped us to have a black president and us to have rights. So sacrifices happen for the greater good, and God seen that. God seen that the greater good had to happen, and it's always happened in history. It's a lot of fucked up things happen, but it's done for a greater purpose, and that's the thing that black people, black atheists, don't understand. And so you want to attack our institutions, and that's the black church, and it's not fair to attack the black church. But that's all I'm gonna say on the matter. Of uh, anybody got anything to say? Like and share this video. Uh, make a comment at the bottom of my video. And peace out.